This is a rainbow placket beta. And this is a custom made portal ring. It's a viral TikTok trend that allows you to create a window into your fish tank. This 10 gallon tank is completely covered in duckweed. Let's create a portal for my new fish. Over the last few months, I've made portals for my baby turtle Harry and Axolotl Lucy. Portals allow light to stream into the tank and make feeding your fish easier. But this time, I'm trying something new. I'm going to make a variety of portals using a 3D printer. They're made of PLA plastic, which is food safe and compatible with fish. But this video isn't about portals, it's about my new fish. Let's add him to the quarantine tank while we prepare to set up his new home. This is a placket beta, and unlike most betas, they have short and round tails. Their beautiful coloration makes them a popular fish in the fish keeping hobby. I can't wait to welcome him home. Let's get back to setting up his new tank. Lucky Bamboo is a great option for aquascaping. It's beautiful and also helps to lower the levels of nitrates in your fish tank. Let's add in a base layer of plant substrate to keep these beautiful roots looking healthy. Let's top it off with white sand. This is known as substrate and will house the beneficial bacteria our fish needs to survive. Pro tip, be sure to keep the leaves above water. This will prevent the plant from rotting while submerged in the tank. A lot of you have asked how these plants fare over time in my setups. I've had Lucky Bamboo submerged for longer than a year and they're doing great. This is Siri Stone. They originate from Japan and are one of the most popular hardscape stones used in aquascaping. I love using live plants in my aquariums. They add rich color and are very beneficial to our fish. They help to remove harmful waste from the water and also provide hiding spots that make our fish feel more comfortable. It's time to spray it down. This will prevent our plants from drying out while I prepare to fill up our tank. It's critical for live plants to remain moist, which is why I like to do this periodically throughout my setups. Let's fill up the tank using this tube. Be sure your water isn't hitting the substrate directly. This will help make for a super clear fill. Don't forget to add in your heater and filter before cycling your tank. This is a critical step and the process can take between two to four weeks. Everything is looking great so far and it's finally time to add in my rainbow beta. Look, here he goes. It's time to add our duckweed into the tank. Let's learn a little bit more about this amazing plant. These floating plants will help keep the water clean, prevent the overgrowth of algae, and will generously feed our fish. Duckweed is one of the smallest flowering plants on Earth and can double their mass in as little as 16 hours under optimal conditions. This is the fastest of almost all of the higher plants. Portals are much easier to create than you'd expect. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can use CO2 tubing and a connector to create your own. By clearing a space with no duckweed, your fish is able to breathe and come up for a snack. Let's add a pellet into the tank. Beta should be fed a varied diet of pellets and small invertebrates like brine shrimp. I love the little window the portal creates into their world. Thanks for watching.